Greetings, I'm Professor K, and in this short video presentation, we're going to see how we can go about downloading and launching the Windows Sys Internal tools in a number of different ways. The Sys Internal suite of tools is simply a set of Windows applications that can be downloaded for free from their section of the Microsoft TechNet website, and that's what we're looking at here. They are all portable, which means that not only do they not have to be installed, you can stick them on a flash drive and use them from any PC. In fact, you can actually run them without installing them through the Sys Internals Live website. My preferred method is to use the download link right here for the entire suite of tools, download it, save it to a folder, onto a partition on my hard drive, or you can save it to a thumb drive. And since none of the tools have to be installed, you can launch them from your thumb drive or a network share and use them on the computer you are currently logged on to without having to install them. So if I click on Sys Internal Suite, I can go to the next page and from here I can download the Sys Internals Suite of Tools. It's 42.5 megabytes in size. Then all I have to do is just save it, extract it, and I will have the folder. So let's exclude that step and let's just proceed on over to looking at the tools themselves once I've downloaded them. All right, so I've saved the tools to my F drive here, and here they are, Sys Internal Suite. Now if I open up this folder, you'll see that here I have all the tools. Some of these tools are very useful, some of them not so much, but you can go through each one of these tools if you use the command prompt, and you can launch them one at a time. Let's see how I do that. So if I go into my Sys Internal Suite folder and I right click, you'll see that I do not have the option to launch this folder using a command prompt. But if I hold down the shift key on my keyboard and now I right click on the folder that I want to open in a command prompt, you'll see at the top I have open command window here as administrator. Go ahead and click that. And now I'm inside of the Sys Internals suite of tools. And all I have to do is just type in DIR, and you can see all the tools. So now if I want to launch any of these tools, all I have to do is just copy the name of the tool. For instance, if I want to launch this tool right here, process dumps 64.exe. I'm just going to highlight that name of that tool. I'm going to do a control C, come on back down. And here at the prompt, I'm just going to paste the name of that tool, and I hit Enter. You're going to be asked to accept the terms of the license agreement. Go ahead and agree to that. Now, a lot of these tools, and this is no exception, are going to have to be ran from the command prompt. So you will have to go through the help menu here, which is popped up for you, and you can look at all the different switches that you can use to use the tool. Now, not all the tools. Are going to need to be ran from a command prompt. A lot of them do have a GUI. If you try to launch some of these command line tools from within inside of the folder, they will not launch. So if you want to launch and play around with these tools, I recommend that you use the command prompt method that I just demonstrated for you. Again, let's do the DIR. Scroll on down here until we come to something and it has a GUI. So one of the tools that we're going to be using in the course is going to be the Process Explorer. Let's go ahead and find that one here. And here we see it as Process Explorer 64.exe. I'm going to go ahead and highlight that. Then I'll do a Control C to copy. We'll go back on down. I'll go ahead and paste it at the prompt and I'll hit Enter. Give it a second and the GUI for this Process Explorer will open. Now a lot of these tools will need to be ran as administrator. So you can see that opening the command prompt on the folder and running as administrator is going to save you some grief if you want to go through these tools one at a time, examining them, exploring them, and seeing what they have to offer. So I've showed you my preferred method for accessing the Sys internal tools. Now again, you can use the live tools, which is again right here, and you can see that you have all the tools, 
And if you try to launch them, let's go ahead and try to do the auto runs .exe. See what we get here. You're going to have to download the tool first and then save it and then run it as administrator. So most of these tools, again, cannot be ran from the website per se because they're going to want access to your command prompt. So you'll have to download them first and then launch them from the command prompt. Or if they have a GUI, you can launch it using the GUI itself. We can also launch the tools from the System Internals live website using a command prompt. Let's see how we do that. Now to do this, I'm just going to go down here, type in CMD. I'm going to run this as administrator, my command prompt that is. All right, so now you see I have the command prompt open. And if I copy this URL and I go back to my command prompt and I'm just going to put it in. Now I type in the name of the tool. So let's just do, we'll do auto runs .exe, see how long that takes. And after just a short pause, the license agreement does pop up. So I'm going to go ahead and agree. And now we have auto runs. And so you can see that there are a number of different ways that you can launch these tools, either locally from a thumb drive or your machine or a network share, or you can use the Sys Internals live website. Now, if I open up a web browser and in the address bar, I attempt to access that same autoruns.exe, we get a different type of response. It's going to want you to save it, download it, run it as administrator before it will give you access to the actual tool. Using any of these access methods should guarantee that you will always have access to the Sys internal tools one way or the other. The creator, Mark R., I cannot pronounce his last name, created these tools back in 1996, and I've been using them off and on as needed since about 1998, 1999. For your convenience, the tools are broken down into categories. You have file and disk utilities, network utilities, process utilities, security utilities, system information, and finally miscellaneous. And of course, you have the entire package available to you using the Sys Internal Suite download link on this TechNet site. Finally, these tools can be used by help desk professionals, IT administrators, and digital forensics investigators to help diagnose, troubleshoot, and find out exactly what's going on under the hood of your Windows operating system. The easiest way for you to get your copy of Sys Internal Tools is just to open up your favorite search engine and in the search bar type in Sys Internal Tools and you'll have all the download options you need. So in this short video presentation, you got to see how easy it is to get your hands on the entire suite of Sys Internal Tools and then launch them easily using a command prompt from your Windows machine. You got questions, you got concerns, please don't hesitate. Reach out, contact your instructor, and I'll see you in my next video.